All right, welcome back to my channel. Now, if you have not subscribed to this channel yet, make sure hit subscribe. If you haven't talked to me in person yet, make sure and text me at 210-960-5771. And we're gonna get straight into it. So this is for you if you don't have any systems in place to onboard new clients. This is probably gonna be a longer type of video, so please take notes. Um, and if you need one-on-one -on -one help with this sort of stuff, again, reach out to me at my phone number, go into the links in the description. You can set up a chat with me on Zoom. You can text me. I put myself out there and it's up to you. If you want to reach out to me, reach out to me. If you don't, then fine, don't do it. <laughs> All right. So let me dig into this and we're going to start at the very top here where it says sales call application. Now, here's what I mean. When someone comes into your ecosystem, we need to make sure that the first thing that happens is we move them into an application call. This means that you're no longer sending text or Instagram or, or Facebook messages back and forth. We are scheduling a call with a prospect. And this call is set up to do one of two things. We either attract them more to the program or we weed them out. There's no middle ground, all right? They either get more attracted and they wanna take the next steps, and I'll show you what those next steps are in a second, or they get weeded out. So this is an application call, and the reason why it's an application call, it's because you are the business owner. You decide who you work with. I don't decide who you work with. Your clients don't decide if they get to work with you or not. You decide. You are the gatekeeper of your business if you want to be. If you don't want to do that, then expect to have really crappy clients who text you at three o'clock in the morning saying they want to train with you tomorrow at five o'clock in the morning. <laughs> right? I've been there before. If you are not the gatekeeper with your business, you have zero control. I'm showing you here how to have control with your business. It's by setting the tone and having a scheduled application call. I like doing my calls on Zoom. You could do yours over the phone. You could do it on Zoom. Again, I like scheduling it to where I am calling the prospect. If you have your prospect hit you up during the middle of the day when you just got done eating uh, Wendy's and you're tired, you want to take a nap, you're probably not going to have a lot of energy on that call. That's your fault. You're not ready for that call. That's your fault. All right? You didn't decide when that call is. That's your fault. All right? It's not their fault. It's your fault. So having a strong application process that is detailed, that's organized, automatically attracts a client who's gonna pay you more money, period. Remember that. They will pay more money if your process is more professional. And go look on Google. Like, There's no one in your area who probably has a detailed, really like simple application process that's professional looking. This is your chance to separate yourself from everybody else. You either do it or you don't. If you choose not to do it, then your business will always stay the same right? That's number one. Number two, all right? Assuming the application slash sales call goes good. What we want to do is we want to move that prospect forward into the evaluation session. Now, I recommend having the business model of group training. That's my recommendation. A lot of coaches I work with, they only do one-on-one -on -one training and that's awesome. They're killing it. Um, but I recommend personally, the group model. You can impact more clients, you work less hours, you have more energy at your sessions. I could give you a list of 5,000 benefits of doing group training um, just for you personally, and I could give you 5,000 benefits for you as a business owner, right? So if we move them into an evaluation session, that should be a group eval. So you're taking a prospect who is wanting their child to train with you in your program, right? And we move them into a group eval, which requires zero extra work, right? So we put them into a group that we think that they're going to be a good fit. This is why on your application call, if you don't ask questions, if you're not probing the parent, you're going to end up putting them in a group that they shouldn't be in. That's your fault, right? The more organized you are on that call, the easier that evaluation session is. And also think about this because it's your business. 
if you put that player in the wrong type of group, that group is not going to respond well. So your clients that are already paying are not going to respond well to this, this new prospect who just showed up that shouldn't be in the group. Again, that's your fault. So you got to take a lot of self-responsibility here. Got to step up the organization. And when we have this set up and it's dialed in properly, all right, you are placing them in an evaluation session with another group that already exists that you feel like is a good fit. This way, when they come to that evaluation session, that prospect feels comfortable. Otherwise, if they don't feel comfortable, their confidence level goes like this, and then they're not going to want to join your program. Whose fault is that? It's your fault. All right? So got to make that a good experience. All right? And I could, I could go on and on about what to do in that eval. I'm not going to do that in this video. If you need more help with that, reach out to me. All right? And after that eval, one of two things happens. You either accept them as a client or they are denied. And you send them to sue another business that you know of. And maybe you can build a referral relationship with another business of prospects that aren't a good fit for you. That's something I've done, right? Not everyone's a good fit to work with me, so I'll refer them to someone else. And, uh, you know, those coaches can pay me every time I send them a referral. So that there's a business opportunity there if you deny clients that aren't a good fit. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to assume that you accept the client, all right? So they get accepted, all right? And then what happens is they join into that particular group or a different group that is very similar. Now, what's happening is every time you, at this point, every time you have a sales call, we move them to an eval that's, you're already operating that eval or you're already operating that group session. So they come into that eval session with a group that's already functioning, all right? Haven't spent any extra time. Once you accept them, they join that, uh, that existing group that you already put them in or you put them into a different group that's very similar, all right? And at this point, you have spent zero more hours fulfilling client work which is very different than one-on-one -on -one training. This is why doing this in a group system, all right, is a very simple way to operate, all right? And the whole thing is dictated by how your sales call goes, right? How, you, how your application goes. And I can promise you, when you do things the right way and you take your time on the sales call and it's, it's proper, right? You treat it like it's a really important call because it is. You can get clients to sign up to six to 12 months, all right? You get them to come to the eval session, they love the eval session, and they move straight into your program, all right? And they're gonna love your program, all right, if you have your groups organized the right way, if they're getting a lot out of the program. And if, if you've watched the last couple of videos that I've posted, right, I go very deep into sales and, and all that, you know, in the last couple of videos. Um, but what I'll tell you is like, where a lot of coaches miss out, it's, it's because they don't do the application call the right way. Their prospects are calling them versus coach calling the prospect. It's normally never scheduled, never organized. Uh, most coaches don't record their calls, so they don't know where they messed up. And, you know, if you want to be like a sales sniper, <laughs> right, you have to do the little things the right way. And I hope this helps you here, right? And if you want more help, if you, if you need some, some advice uh, with your business, I'm just gonna just be very upfront and say it right now. Every quarter in 2021, I have increased the price of everything that I do, right? And the reason why is because the results have been really, really, really good this year with coaches that I work with. So if you are in a position to, uh, hire me for consulting. The time to do it would be now if you're looking to save money. Uh, coming up over the next month, I believe the next 30 days, I'm gonna be increasing my price for everything that I do again. And that's gonna to continue to happen every three, four months um, with new coaches that end up joining my program. And you know that's also something that I teach all the coaches that I work with. They, they always end up raising their prices every quarter because their programs get better as well. All right, so reach out to me. Send me a text message, 210-960-5771. Whether you talk to me or not, if you implement what we're talking about here, this is really gonna help out. It's gonna change your business forever if you just do what I'm talking about, because it works. And it's worked for hundreds of other coaches that I've been coaching over the past year, and uh, I know it'll help you. That's it for today's video. Catch you later.